very happy Diwali to all of you and to your loved ones. So this is the makeup look I recently wore to one of the parties and I did receive a lot of compliments so I thought why not to recreate it for you guys. It's a very nice soft look, a very goldy uh, eyeshadows, very bronze look so if you're interested stay tuned. So I'm going to start by using this primer from Professional. It's by Benefit. I love this primer. It does an amazing job in uh, filling up all the pores. So I'm just gently uh, rubbing it in on all the areas where I think I have some pores. Basically my nose, my cheek and uh, center of the forehead. Next up, uh, I use this Huda Beauty foundation in the shade I'm ready. I use a dot in motion. Uh, just try to apply it all over my face. Now with the help of this uh, beauty blender, I know it's dirty, sorry, but uh, I'm just uh, dabbing it very lightly and I make sure that I really take good time and patch the foundation because I really feel that a good base, a neat foundation is the key to a good makeup. Huda Beauty foundation is an amazing foundation. It's full coverage foundation. It does have a slight fragrance to it which I personally don't mind. So I'm not using any uh, extra conceal. I'm just taking whatever product I have even under my eye. And now I'm starting my makeup and setting uh, it with the Start con Shape Tip Concealer. It's in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm just uh, putting it across my lids uh, so that it can act as a base and I have like one shade base so that whatever shadow I apply it doesn't come in different color. Next I'm going to set it with my favorite uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just using any brush to set my um, eyelids. I have very greasy eyelids guys so I make sure that I always have a nice uh, matte base. Next up, I'm going to use my favorite Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and uh, on the crease, I'm going to use the shade Burnt Orange. I'm just going to use the brush that came along and I'm going to put it on my crease on using a very light hand. I just want to define my crease at this moment. I don't want to put any um, eyeshadow on my lid as you can see. So guys take your time in blending and I just make sure that I blend this shade very well. I'm just using a clean brush and making sure there are no harsh lines. Next up I'm using this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal uh, and I'm using the shade Fur Fur. It's a matte shade. So I basically just want to have a very clean base because I want to use a nice uh, gold sparkly eyeshadow. So this is actually quite a white beige color matte eyeshadow and I really like it. So I'm just using my fingers uh, to dab and to settle this eyeshadow. It's a very matte shadow guys. So whatever base you apply on top of it, it really stands out. That's why it's my favorite. And after uh, using the finger, I make sure that I blend everything with a brush. Guys, you have to just uh, always make sure what I feel that everything is uh, blended properly and that's it. Now next up, I'm going to use the shade Bronze. It's a very nice golden sparkly shade and I'm going to use my finger and pat the color on my lid. I feel the maximum intensity you get out of a pigment is when you use your finger and not a brush or probably you can also use a brush and uh, the MAC uh, Fix Plus spray and also then I feel but still I'm more comfortable using a finger. Now to top it off, I'm going to use the shade Bamboo Hoops uh, from the Huda Metal uh, Melted Eyeshadow. This is such a nice, beautiful, champagne gold glittery eyeshadow and it's very long lasting. For this uh, look, I don't want to go very harsh on the eyes. I want to keep it very natural, very nice and sparkly look. So I'm just trying to make sure that the golden uh, look that I want is builded well. Next up, I'm going to use this eye pencil from Faces. I'm just uh, tight lining my upper lid. I just want to make sure that uh, I have a very fuller looking lash line. 
and this really does put a lot of different i mean once you start doing this guys i'm sure you'll never be able to skip it you just get so used to it now i'm going to curl my lash with this lash curler very important step guys don't be lazy in using this uh, kiko luxurious lashes mascara i literally bought this uh, mascara for its packing guys it looked so luxurious it looks so cool like even if it's uh, there on your vanity i feel you know it's a, it's a good piece to display I'm putting my mascara um, very gently, just uh, prepping them uh, for the falsies. I make sure that I really coat in every lash. The next, I'm going to use this foaming lashes, guys. I love these lashes. These are actually quite an inexpensive lashes from Amazon. Now, using the dark brown shades from the palette again, I'm just defining my outer V. I'm mixing this uh, shade Rustic and Cypress Umber on the outer V because now I want a more uh, dimension on the eye look. Since uh, after applying lashes, um, I I really get to know what is missing so I always make sure to go back and forth and to complete the look so I felt that uh, it looked a little flat so just to add that intensity I'm using a darker brown you don't have to actually use the same palette guys any uh, neutral palette or uh, any eyeshadow palette that has browns and goldens is good enough for this look so I'm just making sure that I'm packing the product really well and then I really take time to blend it. Now I'm taking a clean brush and I make sure that I'm blending all the browns at the edges and you know there are no harsh lines. I really wanted a soft eye and uh, when I added this brown I really thought that I was going way too dark but then I really took time and all you can see blend 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 is all that I'm doing so next up I'm going to go back and use the same shade the bronze that glittery golden shade and I'm going to pack it again because I felt that that punch was still missing of that uh, you know that brightness so I'm adding the shade again next uh, I want to use this uh, eye coal uh, from the brand note it's a very beautiful purpley shade with some uh, sparkle in it I thought this was quite an interesting color to add to the eye look next I'm going to do my brows uh, using this brow pomade from Anastasia this is in the shade dark brown guys I love this uh, shade and I love Anastasia brow products I cannot rave much I love their brow is god knows how many I have finished so I'm just filling the sparse areas guys and I personally uh, like natural looking brows. Next up I'm using the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer because I hadn't used the concealer in the first place. I'm just uh, putting it at the regular areas under eye, bridge of my nose, forehead, uh, cupid's bow and my chin and using the beauty blender. I'm really taking my time and I'm just blending it all in. Tarte Shape Tip Concealers are one of my favorite concealers guys and I don't know when is Tarte going to launch in India. I'm actually just waiting for it. So yeah, I'm now actually taking time to really blend the concealer well. Next up, I'm going to take this uh, Fenty Stick in the shade Truthful and I'm uh, just going to add a bit of a contour. I'm not going too crazy as you can all see, just adding a bit of uh, color. Basically, I just want to add some dimension to the face since the color of uh, the light medium honey from the concealer is pretty light. So by doing this, I'm going to add some dimension and of course, a more sleeker look, less chubbier cheeks, a more chiseled nose. And I have a fairly uh, small forehead so I don't go very crazy. To set my concealer, I'm going to use uh, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just uh, going to bake a bit. And to set the bronzer, I'm going to use this one from Maybelline. Guys, it's an amazing bronzer. What a color. Completely in love with this. And for blush, I'm going to use uh, Gingerly by MAC. It's one of my favorite uh, blushes. I've almost hit the pan as you can all see. It's a beautiful peachy brown shade. Very natural looking. 
Now coming to the highlight, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm going to randomly just mix uh, all the shades and I'm going to use on the high, highest points of my cheek basically. Guys, I'm so sorry. The sun was like right on my face and after I, uh, you know, done the shoot, I realized it was too late. So I'm really uh, sorry for that. So yeah, now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and just making sure that everything is blended well now again with this uh, same highlighter I'm just going to make sure that I highlight the inner corner of my eyes just to have this nice uh, brighten up effect for my lip line I'm going to use the shade hover by Mac I'm just going to line my lips because I feel lip liners are so important first they make sure that the color doesn't bleed and they stay put for lip, I use the shade Bohemian by Anastasia and Lady Be Good uh, by MAC but when I applied these two I personally thought it was a little too pink so I added the shade Hudson and when I applied the shade wow absolutely loved it now I'm going to uh, water my lower lash line you can use any uh, casual pencil and guys that's it i just love the look so natural i just opened my hair added few chan balis uh, i really like wearing these balis they're so cute and yet they add such a daintiness to your outfit i love wearing jewelry if you have any suggestions where i can buy good jewelry please let me know in the comment section below and also I feel that uh, you know an, a traditional outfit is so incomplete without a piece of jewelry so yeah guys that's it that was my attempt I hope you liked my look as much as I did wearing it it's a very soft look guys I've used very neutral colors of course you can go for a more uh, dramatic lip color bright lip to add that oomphness to your makeup so yeah guys once again a very happy Diwali and please give me a thumbs up if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video bye